Fish on, look at this guy. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on. This is a decent one too. In a nice big pickle. Ooh, it was tasty. All right, there's a log like right here. I got here, I thought, well, let's just test this spot, see if there's even a fish here, you know? See, see if something's moving or something, you know? So I cast off that log, kind of like this, boom, right in there. Pull it back, a big brook trout came up blasted and I caught him. I don't think it is, I didn't have the camera on. By the time I turned the camera on, it shot, it dumped the hook like right here in front of me, so it was kind of funny. Let's have some fun. Let's walk up in here a little ways. See if we can catch something else. It's kind of fun if we could. 2,000 years later. We got two more spots, and then we'll be in the hole right, kind of around the corner here. And there's one way up there. You can see that one. That was a heavy run on that one. But if you look ahead of me, ah, oh, there it is. There's human footprints right there in the mud. They don't look old. They look pretty fresh. So, I mean, really fresh. Oh, God, this is muddy here. I'm sitting down here. I pass my ankles. I'm trying to pull my feet out as I walk. Hoping I can get to the bank. It's like quicksand. Oh no. We don't need that. We need to get out of here. All right, put your foot out. Let's go, chucklehead. Oh, like Toledo. How horrible. It's still is kind of horrible. Wow, we're still sinking. Now I can see why somebody went up here and got out. This is brutal. Yeah, this is a brutal spot. It still is. Fish on, fish on. Look at the puny size of that guy. That's like, that's like, I don't know, that's like bait. Oh, the bait fell off. What is that? It's a brook trout. All right, look at that. He fell off. But he's like, I mean, if I hold him real close, he looks gigantic. But yeah, we'll get him back in the water. Go ahead, dude. Go right down there by the log. Don't swim out sea. Don't swim out deep, so I'll probably eat you. All right, I came all this way to catch a tiny little, tiny little, tiny little fish. He, I thought he was a creek chug, he was so small. No, he was a tiny, tiny, tiny little trout. So. 20 minutes later. I haven't been down this area in ages. We were talking a long time, so two or three years. I came here by accident once. I just kind of stumbled across this place. I didn't even know it existed. I do know that these people here, well, at least they did a couple of years ago. They had an electric fence up here going across the creek. and You had to be careful because you get shocked. I bounced against it by accident. I was moving around it and I just happened to fall back, step backwards, like, I don't know, less than a half a six inches or so, half a foot. I just kind of leaned back. I don't know why I leaned back, but when I leaned back, I caught that fence and boy, oh boy, it had a burn on me. Fish on, fish on. I actually, I think I set the hook on this guy. I'm not losing him either, so. All right, we got ourselves a tiny little brook trout. Oh, that's not a bad looking one. All right, what do we want here to the shore? He's in grass, he'll be fine if he falls off, but I don't think he's going to. All right, dudes, dude it. People of the YouTube land, we caught another brook trout and he's like, he's like the brother of the other teeny one that we caught downstream, but he's like a little bit bigger. But look at him, he's got nice pretty colors. All right, we'll get him free real fast here. All right, dude, hold on. All right, catch you later, alligator. All right, that was fun. All right, murky, murky. Ooh, I'm up to my ankles in murk. I got a little solid right now. Ooh, solid right here. It's deeper, but it's solid. All right, let's see if we can get it right there. Right where, I, oh, I didn't want it to go over that branch, but I guess that isn't where I wanted it. Oh well. I thought I, wow, I hit that spot perfectly. Nope. All right. Two shrimpy, little shrimpy brook trout. All right, let's get moving up. See if we can catch another couple more shrimpies. Fish on, fish on. Wow, I got one right there. That was kind of funny. As soon as they hit the water. Another brookie. Get my hand wet. Another hand wet. This guy's on the hook pretty good. I don't think he's coming off. Here we go. 
Caught him on this. This lure is as big as he is. Check it out. But look at his beautiful colors. Isn't he pretty? All right, we'll see. We got him barely hooked in here. Dude, we got you. I don't even know how you didn't fly off. You were just like, you like, didn't really let go, but hold on a second here. I'm going to have to get my hemos out. Maybe we don't want to hurt you. I'll make sure you get free nice and easy without any problems. All right. We did a little surgery and we saved his life. There we go. We're going to put him back in the water. Look at those beautiful colors of this fish. Isn't that fantastic? All right. There you go, dude. See you later. Wow, there's some pretty colors on him. That was awful nice. All right, I was getting out of the truck. It was 71 degrees. Now, when I got here, I ain't lying to you, it was 47. So, it went up 71. It went over 30 degrees in a few hours. Nice and toasty. I think today it was only supposed to be 54. And it was 71 when I left the truck, so. Patreon, look at this guy. Uh-oh, I wonder if I can get him. I better hope so, guys. This guy's trying everything he can to lose that hook, too. All right, guys, get my hands wet. We'll get this guy up here. Wow, dude, check out that brook trout. But he really blasted on that, that black and copper. Check it out, guys. Hopefully my camera's turned on. Look at that. Look at this, dude. Check out that fish. That is a, that is a beautiful brook trout in my book. Fantastic. And he got this guy in the top of his lip. I gotta get him off, but, and quickly. All right, dude, hold on, hold on a second. We'll get this guy back here out. And we'll get that hook out of you in about 10 seconds flat. And get you on your way. Yep, there you go. All right, it's out, calm down. Check it out, man, look at the colors on this guy. He's almost got kind of a pattern on the top of him like a tiger trout, but he's, Yep, brook trout, look at how beautiful he is. Fantastic. Let's get him back in the water. All right, that was a really nice one. Wow, I'm impressed. Check out, guys. That hook's a little bit bigger than I wanted to use. This is a number four. Uh, I would have rather have had like a number six on there, but what are you gonna do? I don't have any of those with me in copper. It has two copper beads. It has a, uh, I think that's a 316 ounce lure body and I painted it black. And then we got copper, Copper blades. And what I do with these guys is I, before I left, I kind of hit them with a little bit of sandpaper so to shine them up a little bit. And look at them, look pretty good. Fish on, fish on. That's a decent one too. All right, hopefully we get him onto the bank. We'll get him over here where he's a little safe. That'd probably be the last fish of the day for me right here. He's a decent little bricky. He's not huge and massive. But as far as brookies go, this guy is pretty happy. He makes me pretty happy. All right. We got him out quick. Look at the colors on him. Isn't he fantastic? Wow, dude. Look at the colors. Beautiful fish right there. All right. We'll get him in the water. Later, dude. Have a great night. Whew, that was fun. All right. That's a good way to end it. If that was the last fish of the day, I'll be happy. It wasn't a massive brook trout, but... It was a fish and it was a nice one. I mean, compared to the brook trouts we usually catch, they're like three inches long. That guy was actually pretty cool. Fish on again. Wow, I got another one. Check this one out. This one's fighting pretty hard too. But I got this ultralight rod, so who knows? It could be not that big. So, wow, he's a decent sized one too. Look at that. Woo -hoo. Check it out, guys. Oh, that's a great way to end the day. All right. Hold on, Scooter. We'll have you free in a second. Check it out, guys. There he is. I don't know if the light's good for you or what there. All right, dude. We'll get you back in the water. Thank you very much for coming over and hanging out. Fish on, boys and girls. Fish on. That's a decent one, too. Hopefully, I get to land this guy. We'll see. All right, look at the size of this brook trout. Oh, wow, he flew off right into the grass. Wow, he's beautiful colors, too. Check it out, guys. Holy Toledo, look at this fish. He got, flew off the hook, but check him out, man. Look at the colors on this guy. I gotta turn around in the sun so you guys can see this. Look at the, look at the colors on this guy. 
It's a fantastic. Look, he's pretty. All right, that's a male. He's got a hook on his mouth even too right there. Look at that. Isn't he pretty? All right, we'll get him back in the water. Look how nice and orangey he is too. All right. Later, dude. Later. So that was freaking awesome. I was kind of hoping this road wouldn't have any traffic on it, so I drove all the way up here from, you know, from where I went fishing at, because it's a totally different spot than I ever do my outros. There's cows over here mooing. There's like turkeys that were just over here in the field behind the truck a little bit. I just got passed by the short bus, and they were looking at me all weird, like I was doing something illegal out here, which of course I'm not, you know, but I'm just doing an outro to you guys. So I'm gonna do this fast. It was a great day, awesome trip. I got to go way up to Barron, County, Wisconsin to go check out some of these little brook trout streams that I haven't been to in like over two years. I figured, well, let's just go up here today and see if we can catch them. And it's all we did is catch brook trout. We caught like some small little puny ones when we first started out in the day, but it was kind of hot. And then towards the end of the day, cow mooing. Towards the end of the day, you know, we started catching some decent sized ones, you know, that would probably be nice to take home and have for dinner, but you know, it's not season yet. And it was still just, just catch and release. It was awesome. Anyways, that single hook is still kicking so much, you know, butt out there on the streams. I have them for sale in the store. I got them in there for $10 free shipping. I'll send them to you wherever you're at in the United States. So you can come pick them up. I don't know, just come buy them on the store and check them out. I got six, I got size fours, I got size, I think twos. And those, those uh, side wash hooks, they just, and they're open high too. So you can just put them right on your lures and take them on and off. You can take them off, put them on jerk baits, whatever you want to use them on. It, they work great. I'm gonna, I'm actually at home putting them all on my Rapalos right now. Anyways, I don't think I have a lot of time. I got a strange feeling that somebody's gonna come shooting over that hill and come over here and be like, hey, dude, what are you doing back there? Anyways, it was fun. I caught brook trout. I got to go somewhere. I only get to go to like probably twice a whole year. And I got to go catch fish. And nobody got to come back in there and bug me. It worked out fantastic. Anyways, it's gonna be a head over here. It's gonna be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish in the driftless and out of the driftless. I don't know if this is the driftless considered or not. I seen an egg or two when I was in that stream. <sighs> Anyways, I'm talking too much. I gotta get home. It's been a long day and I got some editing to do and some uploading and some other stuff. So uh, thanks for tuning in and had, like I said, had playlists and talk to you on the next episode. Later, alligator. Uh -huh.